Welcome back to Like It or Not. Did you know that you can use Canva to help you create your captions for your YouTube video? This video will explain just how I do that. For starters, you're going to want to go into Canva and create your design. Create a design, custom dimensions, and since it's for YouTube, let's do 1920 by 1080. Create a new design. It's that simple. From here, you need to make your background and you don't want to make your background flashy. You need it to be one color. So what you're going to do is go over here to the left hand side and click background and up here at the top are your plain colors. So you can just go and click any color really. So let's make this one gray. Uh, nope. Change my mind. Let's make it blue. Nope. Change my mind. Let's make it green. Nope. Change my mind. Let's make it dark gray. That looks good. Some people like to just have plain text and you can absolutely do that by clicking text, adding a heading, typing whatever it is that you want. This is my green screen text. Changing the font. Let's make it this font. Now, I do want to show you real quick. If you want to make, if you've written it and you change your mind, you want it all uppercase, you can actually change it up here. You don't have to retype everything. So that's pretty awesome. This is my green screen text. Very, very simple. This is my green screen text that I put over top of a picture that I will be using in an upcoming video. Now, let's add an element behind our text, shall we? Let's add our element. Let's go over here to Elements, add a square. Let's resize that square to the width and length of our text box. We're going to change that. And for this video, I'm going to use black. I'm going to scoot it behind my text. Now, and we're going to go up here, download PNG. It's the only page that's there. Download. And here it is inserted into that same picture. You see how it pops out a little better? We're going to do a quick review using a slightly different method of green screen captioning. All right, here we go. All right, let me remind you how to get your background. Go over here to background. You can choose any color you want. Now get your element. I'm going to choose this rounded one. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to choose a rounded one. I'm just going to choose a plain rectangle because I can make it smaller. I'm going to take it off to the edge, even though it doesn't matter, but I just want to make sure that nothing extra comes out. I want it off the edge. All right, I'm going to change that to black, and then I'm going to add my text. Now, let me add something for real a quick review. Now remember how I said up here I could hit this and it would look different? I just made it all capital letters and now it's back to what I typed, all capital letters. Back to what I typed, all capital letters. Let's go over here and change it to Nora Wester because that's what I use for my computer videos. I'm going to make it just, I'm going to make it as big as possible to fill in that box. And I think that looks good, don't you? 
Now you might go, this is crazy. What's it gonna do? Well, I'll show you. First, let me download it, PNG. Now I do have more than one page this time, so I wanna make sure that I get the right page. Page one, done. Download. It's gonna prepare your design, and then it's gonna suggest that you want to do the Canva Pro, and I always just X that out. Let's take a look at that green screen caption animating over a thumbnail. Be sure to check out all the Canva videos that I've done if this one interested you. And as always, I have bloopers. In order to use the green screen effect, you probably have to add a chroma key and pick a color, but that's for a different video. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? I've lost my voice. Every time I do these, I lose my voice. Let me know if you would be interested in me showing you how I use green screen effects in OpenShot, which is my editing program.